，上。Welcome to the vlog. I woke up really early because I saw that my peace lily was droopy and it needed watering. And a lot of you requested for like a video of my plants and how I care for them. Um, I don't really do much to them. I am still a baby plant mum. Like, I still have so much to learn.、Um, A lot of my plants didn't survive the winter, <laughs> but a lot of them also did. So I'll show you what I do,、um, and I'll show you how I water them,、um, and I'll show you all the plants that I have. I have quite a few. There's still so many more on my plants wish list that I want to get. But、uh, there was a question:、um, how I got into plants? I actually got into plants when I first moved to Melbourne. With、um, because of my flatmate,、um, yeah, she and her、um, partner was really really into plants. And when I moved in to flat with them, there was so many like really nice plants in the flat. And、um, but yeah, it was so peaceful, like so calming. And our air was really really fresh. We had so many plants. I'll try to see if I can find like. An Instagram video of like the plants, so there was a lot,、um, and she really got me into plants. I started off. I remembered my first、um, three plants that I bought was a snake plant, a monstera, and、um, I had a Boston fern that she gave me, but it was like really really hard to look after. Oh, and a peace lily.、Um, she gave me a peace lily. As well, and now I have way more than that.、Um, it's a bit of a hectic watering schedule, but I just use normal water to water them all, except for one, and I'll tell you which one、um, in a bit. Okay, so this is what I meant by my peace lily getting droopy. So when it looks like this, it means that it needs to be watered, and these are the easiest plants to look after because it. Always tells me when, so I'm gonna water this baby,、um, and it usually has、um, my rubber plant next to it. But I already put it in the tub. Let me just bring this to the bathroom area. In here,、um, hold on. and that this is my rubber plant that I'm also gonna water. So then I usually leave these two here in the bath. These are my upstairs plants. I don't keep a lot of plants upstairs near my room because I had a time before in the past. Wait, let me flip you guys around. Um, <laughs> sorry. There was a time in the past where I had. Like two plants in my room. I think it was a piece of lily. No, it wasn't a piece. Of, it was a monstera and my bitter leaf. And then I had like caterpillars and spiders in my room, and it was like I'm so scared of creepy crawlies, and I nearly had a heart attack. And so I was like, from then on, I was like, nope, not gonna have plants in my room. Like they look really nice for photos, and then you know you take them out straight away. Don't keep them in your room. <laughs> But yeah, so I'll take you downstairs and I'll show you. Oh, so、right. Um, the next thing I do is I bring all my plants outside and I water them outside and shower them. It's really hard work because a lot, some of them are really heavy, 
but that's what I'm gonna do now. This is what I was talking about. So my fiddle, my small fiddle bambino did not survive winter. It's so sad. I'm gonna deal with this one later. These are my heart-shaped um, philodendrons. This is my ruby strat. Um, this is the plant that I water with distilled water only because I found out that it doesn't like regular water and it grows better with um, distilled water which is like I just boil water and let it cool overnight and then I use that water to water this plant. The fiddle that's dying. The leaf it was so full before and then the leaves just fell off. I don't know what's happening. <sighs> okay, I brought all of them out. The lighting's not very good because it's too sunny right now. Um but oh, my nose is itchy. But I'll show you the accessories that I have. I have this. It's a moisture meter and you can buy it from Bunnings. It's really, really cheap. You can even, I, I even saw them on eBay and Amazon. It just tells you whether your plant soil is wet, moist or dry. Um, and so it's a really good indicator um, to water your plants. And then I also have this. This is from Plant Runner. It's a um, it's a shop here, local business in Melbourne, and it's an indoor plant food. So you only need a really, really small amount of this. It says here one mil per liter of water. So I usually just, I'll show you what I use to um, measure my liter. Um, and then when I water my plants, I also put this in so that they can have a little bit of food. And this is different to um, fertilizer so this is not fertilizer this is like sometimes you'll see people and they'll put this in their like little spray bottles and they'll just mist 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 um, their plants so I've got a mister as well but I can't find it right now um, I think it's upstairs because I was misting my um, my rubber plant the one that I was showing you because those two plants don't really get Sun um, so I do like bring them outside as well to give them like at least maybe like two hours of sunlight um, because plants need sunlight as well as water and there's not a lot of light in my house so I have to bring them out and let them sunbathe <laughs> so they're like little babies actually so yeah um, so now I'm gonna water these plants oh my gosh it's really it's gonna be really hard to show so this is what I use <laughs> it's an old apple juice bottle and then I put here for plant fertilizer so there's two liters in there and so that's why I put two drops in there and that's what I use to water them this is my distilled water so I'll do that one first distilled water only gets watered with this one and I don't put plant food in her and literally you can see she her soil is so dry um, and she just like sucks in all that water and I water them like really really well because she's gonna be out in the Sun so that whole jug I put all in there and now she's gonna be baking in the Sun
gonna show you this moisture meter in action. So you just stick it in the soil. And then it will tell you that she is uh, just on the cusp of being dry. So I just watered her last week. So I wasn't sure whether she needed watering, but she actually does. She needs watering, so there you go. It's so handy. So I'm gonna water her. Fiddle. Those are all the leaves that it fell out. So it only has two leaves left. I think they need repotting. Oh, so I'm gonna water. Want to water. She's actually still moist, so much. That's basically it. That's everything. All these plants all watered now. Um, I'm just gonna let them bake in the sun for a couple of hours. It's actually super tiring to water them all. It's a workout. I get lazy sometimes, but you just have to. If you want your plants to survive, you have to water them. You have to care for them. And that's pretty much all I do. I um, take them out, give them some sun, give them some water, give them some plant food, and those are just the three basic stuff. Um, and you have to look at them as well. Like, you gotta monitor them and see how they're doing because they do like display signs of like droopiness, they're dry, the soil checking thing. Um, look at their leaves. Um, monsteras need like regular wiping of leaves because they get really dusty and they need to absorb the sun. So if you didn't know that, now you know. Um, yeah, that's about it. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video of all my plants. Welcome to the plant mom or plant dad life.